Yeah. Uh, well, thank you very much for being with us tonight. This is uh, the Capital City Museum in downtown Frankfort, Kentucky. My name is Tom Fugate, and I'm the acting curator. Uh, the exhibition that we put together uh, is part of a new changing exhibits gallery that the City Museum has established. And what we're looking for are those watershed moments in uh, the history of our community that also focus upon events in the state and on the national level as well. So 1964 sees the, the March on Frankfurt. And the exhibition is uh, put together with photographs from the Kentucky Department of Library and Archives, video components that we got from the Oral History Commission, KET, uh, WHAS-TV in Louisville, and, uh, and the, uh, uh, the Frankfurt Plant Board uh, to tell the story of the linkage between the August 1963 March on Washington and the March 1964 March on Frankfurt. The two events really seem to be very similar in appearance. Uh, what you've got on the national level is more than 250,000 people marching on Washington. It, uh, uh, one of the, the largest events of that type to take place at the time period. And on the train ride home, as Raul tells us in his interview with Renee Shaw, the leaders of the civil rights movement in Kentucky were riding home and coming up with the idea of a march on Frankfurt based upon the success of the march on Washington, D.C. And in the exhibition, you'll see photographs uh, depicting the event that took place on March 5, 1964, here in downtown Frankfurt. Uh, with Dr. King, uh, Jackie Robinson, uh, uh, Peter Paul and Mary, all of these organizations, all of these groups coming together uh, in unison to bring a, a united front to Frankfurt to work with the governor, Governor Brethren's office, to put together a bill uh, to uh, desegregate uh, public accommodations in the state of Kentucky. The march itself becomes a catalyst for the final passage of that bill, which takes place in January of 1966. And with the signing of that, this Kentucky will become the first Southern state to actually enact uh, civil rights legislation of this nature.